Hello and welcome back. I wanted to make sure that at some point in this month I gave you kind of just a generic goth dark makeup look that could go with like a witch costume or a vampire costume or whatever. I feel like with this wig I look a, li a little Elvira-y. <laughs> uh, so that's what this video is for. So we're gonna start off by putting on a, a foundation. It looks a little too pale for me which is okay. Uh, I also have a little bit of a tan in this video at this point still so whatever. For me, when I think about this kind of makeup look, a foundation that is more matte is probably better. I don't really think of glowing skin and this sort of gothy look. It's obviously up to you. Do whatever you want, but I'm using a more matte foundation, and then I'm gonna, going to pour out some powder into the lid of the powder container, and then I'm going to highlight slash conceal all of the high points of my face. So under my eyes, because you know, witches, vampires, etc., uh, would not have under eye bags. So we're just gonna put on some concealer there and on my forehead, down my nose, on my upper lip, and my chin. Just so we get, I don't know, all highlighted and whatnot. Then we're gonna blend all that out and then take some of that powder that we poured out and powder all of that down. Next, it's important with this look, as it is important with all of life, to have nice eyebrows. So we're gonna go in with this uh, black ColourPop eyebrow pencil in, you know, the shade black, like I just said, haha. <laughs> and we're just gonna fill in my eyebrows, and then I'm gonna go in with a black eyebrow gel as well, just to really coat my eyebrow hairs black, set them all down, make sure that our eyebrows, my eyebrows, look nice. You know, you know how it is. Eyebrows are very important. Then I'm gonna go in with my brand new, ooh, NYX blush in the shade Taupe. This is my favorite kind of contour powder. And I'm gonna contour my cheeks, my jaw, and my nose. I'm not gonna do my forehead because I know I'm putting on that wig. And because that wig has bangs, you can't see my forehead anyway, so why waste the product, you know? But cheeks, chin, nose. So the star of this eye look today is going to be the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Paradox. It's this really nice reddy purpley color, very red. But before I use that, I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette and the shade Warm Taupe and just kind of fluff this into my crease. It's really nice to, before I use a shade that's like bright red, to have a transition color down in my crease already just to help blend into it. Now I've heard before that these Super Shock Shadows don't really work very well on a brush, but I used this little dense uh, crown brush and put this shadow on it and put it in my crease and I didn't really have a problem with it. I thought it was pigmented. It blended out pretty well. Uh, I went in with the brush that I applied the Warm Taupe shade after and kind of used that to help blend out the red. And I didn't have a problem. I found it bl blended out pretty well. I don't know that I can say that for all the Super Shock Shadows as this is the only one I own, but I don't know. I didn't have a problem and I would definitely try these shadows again. So here I am just blending out uh, further with that first brush I used with the Warm Taupe shade, like I said. And then after that, like I feel like I've done in every video this month, I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean and cover my whole eyelid with it. <laughs> this time I'm going to try to blend it out nice and proper though. So I'm going to go back in with that brush that I applied the red into my crease with and use that to blend this black into my crease with some of the red just so I get a nice smooth even blend and then I'm going to take that paradox shadow on my finger and apply it over the black across my entire eyelid. It did take a, li a little bit of building to make sure that it was you know not patchy or not see-through or anything but it worked out in the end it didn't take me very long either. Just as an extra step to help blend it into my crease, I went into the Modern Renaissance palette and the shade Red Ochre, and I just used that and fluffed it into my crease even more to help create a transition between the red on my lid and sort of the red in the crease, and then I took a clean, fluffy bl blending brush and went over the whole crease just to really help blend everything together. Then I took that uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil again in Black Bean and put it on my lower lash line and in my waterline on the top and I took some of this red shadow, the Paradox shade again, and just put that on my lower lash line to help blend out the black. Lastly, I'm going to go in with that shade Warm Taupe on a fluffy little pencil brush and blend out that red on the lower lash line to help complete the eyeshadow look. Then I'm going to go into the... Uh, 
liquid liner. This is specifically the Steel Estate All Day liquid liner. I'm going to create my wings. I haven't done very many winged eye looks this month, so I thought I would take this opportunity to do that. I do have a video on my channel with how I do my wings if you want to see that, but this is kind of just a sped up version. Then I'm going to apply some mascara on the top and bottom lashes. I always apply a lot of mascara. It's just who I am, what I do. <laughs> what can I say? Then I'm going to take this Estate uh, Cosmetics highlighter, and mine's in a light purpley shade. It came in my Yes or Yes box one month. I'm going to apply this. I was going to keep the skin all matte, but then I rem remembered I had this highlighter, and it's purpley, and I just thought I went with the look. So I put that on my cheeks, applied it onto my inner corners with my finger, and now I'm just applying some magnetic lashes. I know a lot of people don't like these lashes, but I really do. I didn't do a very good job on the eyes that I'm working on right now. When you when I'm blink and the look is all done, you can see that they're not attached on the inner corner properly, but that's my fault. I usually have them better than that. Uh, so... Here I am just applying these lashes, making sure I have them all lined up and whatnot. And then I'm going to apply a lip color. I'm using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Witches because it's black. I did end up going over it after a little bit with the red eyeshadow and just kind of pat it in the middle. It looked uh, fine in real life, but on camera it really just made my black lipstick look a little patchy. So that's my fault. I should have had the foresight to think that, but just know that it looked fine in real life, I swear. Then I went and I put on my wig. And this is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you let me know if you decide to use this in any capacity for any kind of costume you're doing. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!